YouTube channel. So obviously today is day three of my New York black vlog really. But yeah, I'm super super excited as I have been like every single day because I mean why wouldn't you stay excited if you're in New York when it's not like I'm here all the time. So I mean I'm super super excited again. I think today we're just going to go and like explore like round by Times Square and all kind of round by there. But yeah, I'm not really too sure, but that's what they was all saying, like yesterday night and things like that. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly finish off drinking my Starbucks because, I mean, there was one literally just outside and I was gasping for a drink and I just barely got myself a Starbucks, really. But yeah, so I'm just having that, which is quite hot at the moment, so I'm just waiting for it to cool down a little bit. So obviously, once I've drunk that, we'll just get straight into the rest of the vlog. So see you in a bit, guys. Well, I would see you in a bit, but obviously I forgot to show you what I was wearing today and now I mean kind of just wanted to show you just in case any of you are wondering really so i've just got this roll neck um jumper on from Reed, and i've just paired it or oh, i should probably do this in the other room i've just paired it with some jamie um blue jeans they're just um blue jeans really from top shop and i think i'm just going to pair them again with the same boots that i did yesterday just because i'm using another extra light around my legs and i haven't actually got any shoes at the moment i've wasn't show you but yeah i think i'm just going to wear the same um boots i did yesterday just because i mean it's just going to keep my legs a little bit extra warmer a little bit extra warm, a little bit extra warm because obviously it's freezing on Saturday. It's going to be a little bit more windy today, so it probably will feel a little bit more chilly. But I mean, well, I'm in New York, so you can't really complain, can you? So, yeah, let's go and explore Times Square or wherever we're going today. And the view is actually incredible, isn't it, Mum? It is, it's brilliant. We're really, really loving it. It's quite high up. Me and my brother are a little bit. It's funny, I think Al's worse than I am at heights, but um, <laughs> you do as well, don't you? I do. We're right, we're all having a good time up here, just getting a few pictures. Oh my god, the view of New York is actually insane. But yeah, we're having an amazing time. actually come up to the upper deck now so we are like at the highest point that you can get out here. Look at over the central park side just had to like double check then but yeah we're over the central park side and the view is actually insane from this height but I mean we are really really high up I'm not gonna lie but yeah we're up the upper deck now and I'll show you the view so this is literally the whole of the view and oh my god the view is insane love central park it looks absolutely incredible from this height 
Hi guys, as you can probably tell, I am back in the hotel room right now. I mean, I think the last clip you probably saw was probably Top of the Rock. So, I mean, that was quite a few hours ago now. We left there at like one o'clock or something. But it is literally like, it's six o'clock now. So, I mean, it is quite a bit later and we haven't actually had any lunch or anything. So, I'm literally just going to tuck in to one of these. I think our dinner's booked for like half seven or something like that. So, um, we're going to go and get some dinner there. I think it's called Connolly's or something like that that we're going. So I suppose the best can't get ready once I've eaten these. But yeah, it was really good today. We literally just um, went to the top of the rock as she saw. And then we just like walked around like um, the shops and things like that. So we went into like Sex Avenue and like all the like, other kind of shops around that kind of area. So yes, yeah, so we just kind of like looked around and um, the shops kind of all around like the Sex Avenue kind of area. And then we've literally come back to the hotel absolutely starving and we all are. We kept coming into like places like round by there. Like there was a few like bars and things like that. Not bars, like pubs. But I mean not many of them like, well I say not many, none of the ones that we went into did gluten free and like lactose free food. So I couldn't actually eat anything. But luckily um, we found like a corner shop that we could like grab a packet of crisps and a drink from. So I mean I have had some crisps but I'm going to tuck into these. But I don't know, I think it's because like we're not like that familiar with New York. Obviously this is like the first time we've been here. So we're not really that sure on like the best gluten free places to go. So we just keep coming in and out of places asking. And not many people seem to be able to do it to be honest with you. Because like sometimes like some of the food's like cooked in the same fryer or something like that. And but so we are just back at the hotel room. I think we've booked somewhere called Connolly's for tonight. I can't remember if I probably already said that. I probably already have. But we also, on we booked a um, Top of the Rock ticket. We did like where you can go up it twice. So we've been up it in the day and then, but you have to go up twice within 24 hours. So we're going to literally have dinner. That's why we've booked dinner quite, quite earlier today early-ish tonight and then we're just going to go back up to the top of the rock overnight and just kind of see it all lit up kind of thing because I, I don't know my dad just kind of wanted to go up there and things like that so we're going to go back up there tonight it was only like an extra I think it's like an extra ten dollars or something which is literally about six pounds like it's not expensive at all really to go up there twice but it wasn't that much more expensive to be honest we did decide to do the two visits so yeah I'm probably just going to eat these as I've said and then um Get ready for tonight, go and have something to eat, and then I'm not quite sure what we'll do after that. I don't know if we'll just have a little wander or something, but I'll let you know anyway. So, yeah, that's basically all what I did today. Hi, guys, so I'm actually ready for dinner now. I haven't actually got changed that much, really. I've changed my jeans and my shoes, but literally, that's about it, really. Put a little bit more lipstick on, but I mean, that's about it because I mean. Stuff ain't really wrong in what I'm wearing. I haven't got like anything spooked down my front, the down or anything like that. I've had a quick shower, but I mean, my top wasn't dirty, so I thought I might as well just re wear it really. So I've got exactly the same top on. I've still got my like head thing on just because I mean, I've got a bit of hat hair now, so I might as well just try and keep it on and hope for the best, really. I have just got the same top, but I'll quickly show you my bottoms. So as I was just saying, I do actually have the same top on. Sorry if you can hear like the heater in the background, but literally it was absolutely freezing in here. And when I say freezing, I was literally sitting there shivering. So I figured out how to turn the heating on and it's kind of like heating up a little bit. Probably should turn it down. I probably should turn it down a minute. But I mean, for now, it's all good because I mean, hopefully my room's gonna be nice and warm when I get back tonight because literally outside it's literally saying like when you check on your phone it's literally saying zero at the moment so I mean it's freezing out that's zero degrees celsius in case any of you are wondering because I mean I don't really work in Fahrenheit I know some people out here do but I mean I just personally know how cold it is in like celsius and I don't really understand Fahrenheit at this point in time but anyway moving on but yeah I've got exactly the same jumper on I have just got some black um, Jamie jeans on I mean they're more grey against my Stuart Wiseman's um, excuse the extension lead but yeah so I have actually got some Stuart Wiseman um, knee high boots these are my 50-50 boots that have literally been going years I think this is about the third or fourth year that I've had these and literally I got these Topshop jeans um, earlier this year yeah literally it was like two months ago I got these um, jeans and look how grey they look next to my boots like that literally just goes to show how good my Strip Wiseman's are after three or four years like it's literally like a testament to the brand just because I mean these top shop jeans I've had like what two months and they're already like losing colour whereas my boots are literally so 
black next to them is actually amazing like they've lasted this well so i mean like round of applause sure it wears on boots i mean i know they're expensive and all that but i mean they last ages and the color lasts so i mean it's not like i have to keep rebuying them to make sure they look black because i mean as you can because I mean, as you could see, literally, they were so black compared to, I don't know if it showed up on camera, I don't know, when I'm probably watching this back, but literally, you can probably tell the difference to be fair, because my top chop jeans are pretty grey right now, I keep looking down at them now, but yeah, so um, that's literally all I'm wearing tonight, and now I'm just putting a coat on. As I said earlier, we are going to Connolly's, I'm sure it's called Connolly's, it's just like a pub really, around the corner, but they do do gluten free food, which is a really good bonus. And then, as I probably did say earlier as well, we bought like a um, Top of the Rock pass where you went up twice in one day. So we're going to go and eat and then I think we're going up to the Top of the Rock again tonight just to go and see it in the dark and my dad can get a few pictures because, I mean, that's just one of his hobbies really, taking pictures. So um, he's going to get a few uh, from his like camera and things like that. And I mean, at least I'll get to see it all lit up in that, the Empire State and all that. But yeah, that's literally all I'm doing tonight. I don't really know if we did anything else. I know I said earlier that I thought we'd be going to Times Square, but I don't actually think we are anymore. I mean, I think I was getting confused with um, Times Square and the Rockefeller Centre, but obviously they're completely different things. So I'm sure we'll see Times Square at some point before we go, but we're not actually going today as far as I am aware. So yeah, come along to Top of the Rock and Connolly's bar with me, really. So we're on our way to Connolly's and this is Grand Central Station, like one of the entrances, all lit up overnight with all of the Christmas lights all the way along. Oh my God, it literally looks so, so festive. Oh my God, it is absolutely beautiful. Like, what the hell? That's insane, that. So, yeah, so as I said, we are actually walking to Connolly's just about now, but oh my god, I'm actually gobsmacked. This is a beautiful one. So we have just arrived at the top of the rock, as you can probably see it from the background, but I will show you a few panoramic clips right now. from the clips sorry if it gets also focusing it's literally just because there's so many bright lights in the background but um basically we um went to good um, what was it called? Connolly's for dinner, as you probably saw, and that was actually really nice. We're thinking of maybe going back tomorrow just because it was really, really, really nice. And like when we say it was really nice, it was literally really nice. It was basically just like a proper old school American style pub. So if you're in New York, I definitely recommend going to Connolly's. I think it was on like 46 East or something like that. 
But yeah, it was really nice. I'll definitely find out where Razi was and let you know. It might have been 45th. It might have been 45th piece actually, because I think we were down to 46 and it wasn't that one. So I'm sure it's 45th piece, thinking about it. But yeah, so this is literally the view in the background. It's actually incredible. Like, we still can't believe how, like, amazing the views and all the bright lights and that but yeah so we are just going to literally absorb the sights for a little bit longer and then we'll probably like head down towards like the Rockefeller Centre a bit right down there it's only like half around it that's it's not too bad but yeah so this is just a quick view you can probably see i am now back at the hotel room oh my god it was actually freezing cold outside like you know when you get inside and literally the warmth who like the warmth hits you and you're like oh my god it was really really cold and stuff like you, at the time you just don't realize how cold it is until you get in here just like oh my god like literally i put my jump on so i still got my like normal top on for the minute i'm gonna get changed in a minute but literally i was like when you take like your jeans off and it's literally like freezing cold my legs sting i don't know about any of you but whenever i get in from the car i always just want to get my like jeans off and just put some like warm bottoms on just to like try and warm up a little bit quicker but yeah i've put the heating on in the room so hopefully it should like start to warm up soon but yeah oh my god um the Irish bar, I can't remember if I told you, it was called Connolly's, I'm sure I mentioned that, but the food in there was really, really good, like, it was actually incredible, really, and it, it was just, like, a proper, proper, like, old-school American pub, really, but it was a bit of an Irish bar as well, it, was quite, it did look really American, to be honest with you, I don't know if you could really tell from the pictures, but, not from the pictures, from, like, the little clips that I put in, and then from there we went up to um, the top of the rock, as you probably saw, like, all the views and that, and then on the way back down from the top of the rock, we quickly stopped by, like, the Rockefeller Christmas tree, and oh my god, that has been my, like, childhood dream since I was a little girl, watching Elf the movie, if you haven't seen it, then you definitely should see it, because, I mean, where have you been if you haven't seen Elf the movie, because it is literally insane, the movie. It's obviously set in New York, and Buddy, who's, like, one of the main characters, goes up to, like, the Rockefeller Christmas tree, and it's like, well, that's a big one. Obviously, he does a better, like, accent than I do, or a better American accent than I do, because obviously I'm English, and I'm just not that good at American accents, really. But yeah, no, it was actually insane. I've literally always, always, always dreamt about coming to see that Christmas train. And I know it probably sounds really, really stupid. But literally, oh my God, I couldn't believe I've actually seen the Christmas tree. And I managed to get a picture by it as well. And it will be on my Instagram probably by the time that this goes out. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you definitely should. Because I always leave all my social media in the description box down below. It's basically just Casey Francis, but with two eyes in Francis. So you should definitely go and check it out if you... Um, fancy seeing a picture of me next to the Rockefeller Christmas tree because oh my god literally my inner childhood in that picture is literally screaming but it's so funny because where it was like literally freezing you can't even see my hands my hands are like literally like put inside of my coat just to try and like warm up because literally they were just like guys of course they were going to fall off if they didn't warm up so literally my hands are like inside of my coat but oh my god so happy that I got to see the Christmas tree especially at night because where it was like all lit up and stuff it was like really really like magical like it was literally oh my god i can't explain to you how much just seeing a christmas tree meant to me <laughs> it is free obviously but they always say the best things in life are free and i mean that christmas tree oh my god i can't explain to you how like happy i was to see it i know it sounds really stupid but anyway and then from there as you probably saw we went to um watch the Saks avenue i think it's called Saks avenue it's basically a department store called Saks and um they have like a christmas light display as you've obviously just seen in the previous clip but yeah we just stood out there for a little while watched like the whole thing i only put a little bit of the um like the um light show in to this i think i think i only got like a couple of seconds i mean i'm not entirely sure specifically how long i've got until i look back but yeah so i would i'd obviously included them because they'd be in it by now so yeah that is obviously the end of the vlog really i'm back at the hotel room and i'm just gonna chill for a bit and then obviously get some sleep again before i'm up bright and early again tomorrow 
But yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed today's vlog, guys. If you did, please smash a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. And do remember, once you've subscribed, to hit that notification bell button just so you can be notified whenever I upload if you want to. But yeah, because obviously, like I mentioned in my previous vlog, obviously I'm going to try and be putting more vlogs up while I'm out in New York. And then when I get back to the UK, obviously, yeah, I will presume just my two uploads a week. So yeah, so I do really hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. But until next time, see ya!